What's good? This is your boy, Mr. Two Alive. Vintage Beats Productions, Criminal Groove Entertainment, bringing you this tutorial for MachineMasters.com. Basically, what I'm going to be going over today is how to use the machine as a VST inside FL Studio 10. So, first, I'm going to go ahead and um, add the machine as a VST. Once you have the machine loaded up in your FL Studio, you'll notice that the machine's tempo is synced with your FL Studio's tempo. At this point, the machine is a slave to FL Studio at this point. So I'm going to um, adjust the tempo to, you know, I guess whatever I'm going to be using, as you normally would when you're starting a project. And um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to go ahead and add some uh, other elements into this project. and uh, show you some practical use as to how you can use the machine. So we'll come back to the machine part while I uh, just quickly do this. I'm going to set my first pattern to 16 beats per bar, which uh, calculated at this tempo comes up to about four actual bars. But the way that, but the way that I have this bar calculated, I have it for four steps per beat, four beats per bar. And it stretched out to 16 beats, which makes it four bars. So I'm going to um, just add some quick elements in here using, using Citrus. Citrus is a stock VST that comes with FL Studio. I'm just going to... Uh First, I'm going to throw some chords in here. I'm going to turn on my metronome and I have my FL Studio set to record with a one bar countdown before it actually starts recording. Now that I have some elements put into this, we're going to get into laying down some drums with the machine. Okay. Now that we have our machine open, we're going to lay down some drums. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my machine, I'm going to go to browse, and I'm going to browse for a kit like I normally would. Go to group, and uh, I'm going to load up the 808. Fat blood crit. As you can see, I have kit load up. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a pattern into the machine as I normally would. And I'm going to set it to one bar. Now, as I adjust the view of this one bar, you'll notice that the machine has conformed to the amount of beats per bar that I have set in FL Studio as well. So when I click play in FL Studio, you'll notice that this one bar is the same length as my one bar up here. So essentially what I'm as of right now I'm gonna be working with what is calculated as a one bar loop. But as we know inside FL Studio is actually a four bar loop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enable record on, on my machine and I'm gonna hit play on FL Studio.
have all the instruments and everything you want to add. And I say you went in and you know you did all the drum stuff you wanted to do. Um, now we'll get into the actual arrangement. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go to the drop down menu on the pattern, go to split by channel. And as you can see, FL Studio has split each element by its own pattern channel. So now, as, I, as you can see, I have them all separate. So I can solo this and solo that and solo this. But when you press play, you want to make sure that we are operating in actual song mode, which, which is what this timeline is basically um, consists of. And when I press play... to mute and solo stuff like that but the only thing is our drums are still inside of our machine so no matter where we click play at this particular one the drum loop is going to always play and there's no way for us to really do any you know drum arrangements per se so in order to get your drums out of the machine VST and into the FL Studio playlist you have a multiple different ways of doing it, and this is what we're going to get into. The first, the first way um, would would be is to click this drop down on what the group that you have your drums on, and you'll see pattern drag mode. You want to make sure that this is checked as audio, as we will be dragging our drum pattern out as audio. See, and once you click this plus arrow here, it will render your pattern down to audio and you'll be able to drag it into the FL Studio playlist. Now, as you can see, it has dragged this entire drum pattern out of the machine into the FL Studio playlist. Now, we can preview this by pressing play on the FL Studio and it will play the audio in this playlist. But remember, we still have our machine VST activated, so both the audio from this audio file and the VST will be playing on top of each other, which will cause a whole bunch of chaos on your computer. So, I recommend turning the power switch off, which is this button right here, on your machine VST while previewing the, the audio inside of the playlist. So once you click play. You'll notice, you'll notice that our drums are in there and you'll also notice inside your pattern that you have a new waveform, which is the name of your kit, the name of your group, and here's the sound. Now with this, you can do, I guess, one form of pattern arrangement. And what, I'm doing, what I've done here is I duplicated all of the patterns that I have up into a 16 bar pattern and, you know, drop stuff out, bring stuff in, the same way you would normally do when, when doing a uh, song run. inside of FL Studio pattern list so you can do some more intricate pattern arrangement. What I, what I, in this particular instance, what I would um, suggest you do is we have to go over to your, v 
T your machine VST, you'll notice the different elements that you actually used in this particular kit. Now this particular kit has 16 sounds, but we only use, let's say, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We probably use about 12 or 14 different sounds. So what we're going to do is, or, or, or what I find easiest to do, is to solo each particular element and drag them into FL Studio. But remember, um, please remember to always enable the audio <laughs> on your uh, machine VST again. Because what, what will happen is just like what happened is it won't it won't render the correct audio. So now we're gonna do try this again. And I'm almost done. This may seem like a tedious process, but it's well worth it in the end. It's actually fairly pretty quick. It only took me about two minutes to actually do all of this. Okay. Now that we have all of our elements inside the FL Studio playlist, we can, again, arrange our drums as we would any other audio pattern or any other audio or pattern inside of FL Studio. Now, <laughs> as you can see, when you drag the audio when you drag the audio patterns out of the machine, they're going to be dragged out at maximum volume. As you can see, the waveforms are at maximum volume. And um, this brings us to our next step, and that is being able to mix them within FL Studio's mixer.